Welcome to the AWS Report, I'm Jeff Barr. Today I'm speaking with Forrest Johns, a senior product manager on the AWS Support team. Welcome. Welcome. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the Trusted Advisor. What's that all about? Well, Trusted Advisor is an application that's provided with business level support and enterprise as well uh, that basically analyzes uh, customers' usage of AWS and makes recommendations uh, based on the previous usage and some best practices. Uh, to help them save money, uh, be more scalable, and uh, more secure. And what form do we actually make this information available to our customers? It's available in the Support Center. Uh, so if you log into Support, there's an icon at the bottom called Trusted Advisor. And by clicking on that, you'll be presented with a GUI that has all the checks. Okay, so we have a, a number of different categories of checks. So let's just go through a couple of, of those and tell me a bit about what each of those are. Okay. Well, so cost savings is a big one right now. Uh, we have a reserved instance optimization check that looks at your historical uses of on-demand instances and will look at your min, your max, and your average and make recommendations based on that usage of how many reserved instances you can buy on a one or a three-year contract. Uh, it's been really successful and some of our customers have up to a million dollars worth of savings on an annual basis. So we, we, our customers, they log into the Trust Advisor, they take a look and we analyze their usage of their instances and we say if you make these changes to how you use EC2 by buying some reserved instances, you'll actually save a certain amount of money. That's correct. And there's some easy low-hanging fruit as well. So if they've got uh, elastic IPs that are not attached, they're still paying for it. Pretty much anything where there's a limit and no allocation, uh, we've got some checks that are looking into So this. effectively, we're, we're telling our customers how to spend less money on AWS. That's what's correct. what's going on here. Yeah. And some of the other ones are focusing on security. So do you have open ports? Uh, or do you have IAM enabled? Uh, do you have CIDR configurations? You know, just so you can increase the level of security for your, your content. Now you have, uh, how many checks do you have right now? There's 14 checks. With more on the way? Yeah. Uh, we're targeting 25 by the end of the year. 25 by the end of 2012. Correct. Excellent. Uh, you have the, that list fully carved out, or are you open to suggestions or ideas? We're absolutely open to suggestions. Actually, we're going to be putting a feedback form on the Trust Advisor page in you know, a little while. Um, but essentially, we've identified over 100 checks uh, that could have potential value, and we're going through them you know, for you know, value to our customer, speed at which we can get it, accuracy of the information, and uh, you know, just seeing if we can get the high value checks in there quicker than others. Wonderful. Okay, I really appreciate your taking the time to come by and speak with us today. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. This has been the AWS Report, and I'm Jeff Barr.